So in surgery yesterday, I treated a patient with capsular contracture and her capsular contracture happened while she was breastfeeding and this sometimes can happen. So with capsular contractures, there's typically three reasons why we see them. So the first reason is um, a low-grade subclinical infection called a biofilm. The second reason is, is that the patient had a hematoma or a bleeding collection, especially if it wasn't drained. And that can lead to chronic inflammation and a capsular contracture. And then the last reason is a ruptured silicone implant. So with breastfeeding, sometimes women get an infection within the system called mastitis. And if the mastitis isn't treated quickly or if it's difficult to treat, sometimes that infection can spread to the implant and cause a capsular contracture. So it's actually a decently common reason that I see patients show up with capsular contracture after they're done breastfeeding. Now, if you develop a contracture while you're breastfeeding, unfortunately, we don't want to jump in and manage it, even if you stop breastfeeding right away for two different reasons. So the first reason is that your ductal system is exposed to your baby's mouth. And so the bacteria in the ductal system is going to be different and often more commonly causing infection. So we'd like to give you about six months after you stop breastfeeding to help your microbiome of your breast tissue go back to normal. The second reason is, is we want that milk supply to dry up because when we do surgery, we always cut through some of the ductal system, no matter how careful we are or where we access the implant. And we don't want to cause a situation where you develop a milk leak. A milk leak can be an epic disaster. It can cause your incisions not to heal, chronic infections. It can distort the appearance of your breast, so cosmetically things don't look good when they heal. It's just a disaster. So. We do want you to stop breastfeeding and then wait a good six months and then we can address your contracture. So whenever I do breast augmentations on patients, I always make sure that I educate them that they have a foreign body in place and you need to manage infections all over your body swiftly because when you have a foreign body, if that foreign body becomes seated, you could have not only a catastrophic implant infection that ends you in the ICU with emergency surgery, or you could develop a painful capsular contracture, which is equally horrendous in a different way. So it's always important if you're gonna to choose to have an implant, you understand what the maintenance is and maintenance isn't just checking in with your surgeon here and there and getting your imaging it's also taking a good inventory of what's going on in your body and making sure that there's no situations going on that can negatively affect your implant